I have one more uh, property of a parabola I'd like to uh, model in GX Web. Um, uh, given a point inside the evolute, three normals can be drawn to the parabola and their feet lie on a circle through the vertex. That's what I'm going to take a look at. Um, I've got my uh, parabola already drawn um, inside GX Web. Uh, and we see that the vertex is the origin. So to create um, a normal, we have to create first a tangent. Um, instead of S, I'll use U. And to create the normal, we select the point and the line and use the perpendicular tool here. Uh, so there's, there's one normal. Um, let's create another normal. Make that a location V on the curve. And we will get the normal there by using the perpendicular tool again. Now we can intersect those two. And so here's two normals meeting at a point. We would like to find a third um, location um, whose normal goes through um, that point. Um, so let's try. Uh, let's guess one. Let's say that uh, location S. And let's just take a look and see how close we got. Well, not all that close. Um, but let's measure and see how far away we actually are. Uh, the distance uh, from E to this line here. And there we see is a little expression. We'd like that expression to be zero. Now we can see that um, S equals um, U is going to make it zero, but that's not a particularly interesting one. We'd like a third distinct one. Um, perhaps we could solve this. Um, I'm going to use um, Wolfram Alpha to solve it. You could free, feel free to do, do it yourself by pencil and paper. Uh, to use Wolfram Alpha, um, we can copy text. That's the way to get stuff into Wolfram Alpha. Copy as text. And then um, let's go in uh, Wolfram Alpha. What we'd like to do is solve. Uh, we paste that thing in. And we solve that thing equals 0 for S. Now, it's always useful to, uh, it's also great to check um, that Wolfram Alpha has interpreted what you wanted um, correctly, and, and, and it has done, it's solving this thing for S. Uh, it's got S equals U as a solution, it's got S equals V as a solution. Well, that's a fairly clear that that would be a solution. Uh, and now we have S equals minus U minus V. Um, and so uh, <clears throat> there's our third solution. So let's just put that in uh, instead of S. We're going to put minus U minus V. And we can see this third location does in fact go through E. Um, let's just uh, play with uh, U and V a little bit and we can watch what happens as we move U and V around. And we can see um, that, in fact, those three normals do, in fact, um, go through E. So now we'd like to look at the circle that passes through these three points. Circle, circle, these three points. So we select the points and the circle construction. And what we'd like to show is that that circle passes through the origin uh, on fast way of doing that is to just ask for the equation of the circle. And let's just take, take a look at that equation. We can see there is, in fact, no constant. There's an x squared term, a y squared term, an x term, uh, sorry, a y term and an x term, but no constant. So therefore, um, x x equals 1, y equals 1, uh, the origin 
is going to satisfy that equation and lie on that circle. 